it's locked. Uh, you know, keep up with all the stories on my community page because that's to me kind of like a uh, my you know like online journal. And I write all kinds of amazing things on there that's going on in heaven right now with a Jesus and the kingdom and what's going on. So, anyways, let me get to the point here. Uh, so He's you know how up. I think it was Hezekiah in uh, in the Bible. He was like, Lord, what are you doing in the earth? What are what are you doing right now? What are your plans? And the Lord said, you know, even if I told you the truth, you would not believe me. Okay. And this is exactly. You're thinking about Hose, uh, I believe is uh, also Hosea, when the Most High told him when he said that he was going to do a work in his day that though he would uh, though it be told to him, they wouldn't believe it with me like even as I am telling you the truth because this is the truth you're not gonna believe me because it's so crazy outlandish wild but you know you have to remember hey I know you're in the middle of something but I wonder if you just take a few seconds to pray with me real quick and that God's thoughts are not your thoughts his ways are not your ways okay and also in heaven there's no male or female so by the time you read the Bible you know uh, you you're always thinking like oh but King David was a man or this and that was, you know, a man. But in heaven, it's completely different because we're spiritual beings. But anyway, so I want to tell you a story about Jacob and Esau. So you know how they're uh, twins. They came from the same womb. You know what she just said? She said, there's no male or female in heaven. Well, for one thing, you have masculine and feminine spirits. That's how the hell you get the concept of male and female. Okay. The most high takes on the appearance of a man because it's a masculine energy, a masculine spirit. That's why when you read the scriptures, Yahweh means he exists. He, most high, is a male spirit, a masculine spirit. And you have feminine spirits as well. That's why you have angels, or that's why you have uh, women, man. You have angels out there that's a feminine nature. You know, like a banshee, so to speak. Like a banshee is a basically like a folk form from Ireland. It's basically like an apparition, but it comes in the form of a female, man, which means it's a feminine spirit. So you off on that too. And uh, Esau was a very hairy man. He was red-headed. He was a very hairy man. He was an outdoors man. He was like a man's man. He was like a, a wild man, you know, a man of the wild. So he's kind of like this alpha male, you know, uh, this hunter-gatherer type of man. Basically a cave beast. You're basically describing your forefather. You're describing yourself. And you notice how she's giving all these accolades to Esau, how he's just an alpha male. He was a man of the field. That's a typical... Doomsday Prepper Edomite, man. That's some nigga you see on, 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 on YouTube. Doomsday Prepping with every weapon in the bunker. You know, smelling like duck piss with fatigues on. Lying a hole for three weeks straight. You know, in, in, in no baths, man. Looking to catch a hippo or some shit, man. And you notice she bigged him up because <laughs> she know in our spirit she's an Edomite, man. And she's clearly a goddamn Edomite. But listen to the absurd shit this motherfucker say. Let's go ahead, slock you. And, uh, you know, very unruly and just, just you know, like like a very man's type of man, right? And, and then Jacob was, uh, he had no hair. He was very, his skin was very smooth and all this and that. So you, you guys should know the story about it by now. And, uh, so, but you, I'm going to tell you the story about Jacob and Esau that you don't know, that nobody knows except for me because I'm wisdom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. I'm going to tell you again the second time. I pray to God this goes through. Okay, so we all know that story, okay? So, uh, and then uh, let me just recap on this story. So one day, you know, uh, Esau, you know, was like, hey, you know, I'm hungry. Can you, can I, can I eat some of your stew? And then Jacob's like, well, if you sell me your birthright, you know, I'll give you some stew. And, you know, the firstborn son is the one who usually inherits the birthright of the whole kingdom and all the blessings. Everything goes to him from the father. It gets passed to the firstborn son. So that was originally Esau's. Uh, but then he sold it to Jacob for some stew. And then, you know, the father, the father found out later that he had been tricked, but he was dying anyway. Esau was like, father, what about me? You know, and the father was like, sorry, son. You know, I already gave it to your brother. There's nothing I could do about it. So... Uh, it's it still stood even though you know a lot of people say oh you know jacob stole it he didn't steal anything esau you know willingly sold it in exchange for some soup yeah you on point about that esau did give up but he was supplanted as well but he gave it up and he sold it because of his impatience just like your forefather you're very impatient okay 
Okay, so and then let's fast forward to later. Uh, Jacob, you know, Esau finds, uh, Jacob finds out Esau's coming and he gets all scared. And he, he runs to uh, Esau and he bows in front of Esau seven times. And, uh, and he's, uh, okay, let me get to the story later. Ah, I wish the first video got recorded. Okay, so what does this have, what is the truth about it that you don't know? Okay, so in heaven, okay, so who else were twins? Jesus and I are twins. <laughs> we are twins. That's why he says, my sister, my spouse, oh, I love you. You know, he just has all. <laughs> this bitch is bugging out. She said, honey, Jesus, you know what? You and sweet Jesus are twins. I will give you that because sweet Jesus the Edomite Jesus, you actually probably do look like him, minus the beard. So I'll give you that. But you how was shy? You're not our twin, bro. You know, you're our, you're our twin as far as your forefathers. But uh uh But in retrospect, you're not, we're not, no, we're not, no, bro. Okay. You don't look none it, it, our because our face is smooth and all this other shit. Look, bitch, you have no dealings with our coach, okay? Jacob was a so-called black man, okay? It said that he was playing, dwelling in the tents. What do most Jakes do? Jakes sit at the crib, they drink, they take their little edibles or smoke their little weed or whatever they do, eat, fuck their woman, play video games, you know what I'm saying? Go out and play basketball. Jake is very, very simple. Most Jakes I know, they like to chill in the crib, man. They don't like being on all that crocodile hunter Dundee bullshit. Jake don't be on that, man. You know what I'm saying? So what the hell are you talking about? But listen to the rest of this shit. She's bugged out. He's like just so in love with his with his sister, his spouse, right? Uh, because we're twins. And he, Jesus, ready for this? Jesus is Esau. Because Jesus is the redheaded, very hairy man. He's a, an outdoorsman. You know, he, he hunts and gathers. He's a manly man, you know. And how ironic that you actually have red tint in your hair. And that could be color dye or whatever because we know you Edomites are weird. But you notice how she's speaking so highly of her, of her father. Because she knows she's an Edomite, man. Okay? And when you say Jesus is an Edomite, yeah, that, that Cesare, yeah, he is an Edomite. Serapis, I believe he was an Edomite if I'm not mistaken. I believe he was. Serapis. But yeah, how was shy? That's a so-called black man, baby. What are you talking about? See, this is the bugged out shit you got to deal with, man. You know, but I'll play a little bit more and get a couple of precepts. This is just really a funny lesson in my opinion. And uh, he's very hairy. And me, I'm Jacob because look, I have no hair. My skin's very smooth. Uh, I haven't shaved my legs for like thousands of years because I just never grow hair anywhere. Like I have no hair. So Jacob, that's me. Uh, and because I also wrestled with God and with angels and I prevailed. See, who wrestled Shoot. with God and angels? Shoot. I did in the Revelation 12 battle. I wrestled with all the dragons, the beasts. Uh, you know, I wrestled with the entire force of, uh, you know. Bitch, you need to wrestle with a fucking, with a bath and a mental institution. That's what you need to wrestle with. Talking about now, if you was actually an Israelite woman, then I will say, yeah, you are Jacob. But she's speaking in terms of. She's actually the man Jacob. Like, literally, like, she, she's the man Jacob. So let me get this. If you are actually Jacob, then, and the seed is through the man, how the hell did you bring forth the uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Nathali, Asher, and Issachar? How the hell did you bring forth those 12 sons when they didn't come out of your loins? Because according to the Bible, when the Most High gave Abraham the promise, he stated that a great nation was going to come through his loins, Okay. Which the chosen thing is, is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So what are you talking about? <clears throat> this is what, this, this is, they, they, demons, man. But anyway, this is the book of uh, Proverbs 9 and 13. It says, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. This woman don't know a goddamn thing. Okay, she probably don't know her ass from a, from a, from a, from a slit in the middle. Okay, according to her. Her, her, her JJ will probably be her anal hole, and her anal hole will probably be her JJ, according to this, this, this bug out right here. And this is the type of men, and you know, this is why they don't really investigate mental illness in America. Like, mental illness is probably the highest grossing of sicknesses or illness in the world. It's mental illness right here in Babylon. Okay, and it's safe to say that 99.6% of you fuckers in this society are mentally ill. All right? Like, I deal with mentally ill people every fucking day. Okay, point blank, period. 
these people got spirits on them, man. And this is why the most High said when this place is destroyed, it has become a habitat habitation of devils and every unclean and every, every hateful bird. You know, the, the, the wicked energy, the spirits in this place, they dwell in people like that, man. She has a lot of unclean spirits in her ass, man. Look like motherfucking Hurley the Hobo, man. You know? But it says, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. She don't know shit. She just babbling off at the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, she just needs a Jake Rod mouth. She just needed just she just needed Jake down her throat, man. She'd be all right. You know what I'm saying? Then she'll know what a Jake is like. Then she know who's Jacob once he put the the, the, the rod of correction on her ass and she shut all that psycho babble up. <laughs> okay. Cause really, only thing this the best thing for you women right now is just to shut the hell up. Or just shut up. Don't talk. You better uh seen and not heard. And sometimes both. You better not seen and, and not heard. So you women, just shut the hell up, man, okay? You have no platform. You have no voice when it comes to voicing your opinion on the word of your how about Shimi how Shah. I don't give a damn if you're a Christian, you're a Catholic, or you're a fucking nun. You have no business dealing, speaking the words of the Heavenly Father, especially if you wasn't authorized to do so. So just shut the fuck up, man, okay? Last precept, Isaiah 61. Arise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. It says, for behold, the darkness should cover the earth, man. And people are literally in his spirit. Like you got that bugged out nigga, what's his name? Dayath Bakaria, that clown talking about he's on vocab Malone talking about he's King David. Nigga, you ain't, you can't spell King David. Okay, and like the brother said, if you were really King David, you would have people that was prescribing to that. Okay, not them loony tunes that was following your ass at first. Oh, I'm King David. Get the fuck out of here. And you notice what all these simple ass jigs do. They go to vocab and they start talking this shit, which gives him ammunition to further demonize the ministry. And we know it's all prophetic. But at the end of the day, man, you know, you jakes, man. You jakes is bugged out, too. You jakes come in his spirit, too. But it says darkness should cover the earth and gross darkness to people. But the Lord should arise upon thee and his glory should be seen upon thee, man. And the Gentiles should come to thy light and kings should bring brightness to thy rising. So the real Israelites, when we get in power, okay, this world is going to be turned back into righteousness. Okay, none of this psycho babble that you're seeing with this Miss Muffet looking demon right here. Okay, like she's really bugging out. You know what I'm saying? It was one clown that came on there and was talking about, oh, he's Jonathan back in the re reincarnation. Okay, some booger nose, bug eye. Snot nose Jake on there. Probably never watched his stanky ass dreads. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, oh, I'm Jonathan in the reincarnation. Now, you niggas make, you give Israel a bad look, man. And it's always you Old Testament or you just, you weirdo. It's just always you weirdos, man. You know, you just can't just do the work and be grateful that the Lord has given you a part of this ministry to partake in. But yet you want to bring all the extra shit to it. Niggas talking about they reincarnated on. I was a banana in my last life, and this time I'm a human. In my next life, I'm going to be a bag of Skittles looking ass. Fuck these, man. This place is through. But hey, with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about Shimmy? How shy about Shimmer Kakodash? And with that, Shalom and the Barber Ball. We almost out this bitch. Shalom.